Hey, this is Mikey Bora for PremiumBeat.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some subtle 3D movements and a little bit of life to this 2D image. Now, this movement was created using a couple of methods. One was the puppet tools, and another one was the displacement map. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's start with our image. So I've got this picture of Abraham Lincoln. I'm going to just drag it and drop it down here to create a new composition. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a 3D depth map. And what a 3D depth map is, it's a black and white image where the parts that are closest to the camera are lighter in color and the parts that are furthest away from the camera are dark. So white up close and black way in the background. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to use it as a map to kind of build my depth map on. So I'm going to just duplicate that layer. Go ahead and hide that bottom one for now. Let's give this a name. Just call it depth. And let's get our paintbrush tool. So I just grab the brush tool and I'm going to double click right on this. We're going to really just worry about the face because we're going to crop it in like how we had it in the example. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with just black. And let's over here, these are my settings for my brushes. I'm going to bring the hardness up a little bit, bring my diameter down, and let's come in, make sure my opacity is up. And let's come in and I'm just going to kind of just right around the edge. I want the background to be pure black because it's way in the back. And I'm not going to be completely exact, but you want to get pretty good. Because what I'm going to do is after I'm all done with this, I'm going to really blur this depth map a lot to kind of soften the effect that it has. So it's not really wild. And it's not going to be perfect because, for one thing, we're just kind of painting this on right now as it is. And we're not expecting this to make it look exactly like a 3D version of Abraham Lincoln. But just to add a little bit of movement, a little bit of life. Now that I've got this, let's just bring this diameter up. Okay, there's the first part. Now after this, let's go back to look at our example. We cropped it right about there, so I don't need to really go down below that. So, but let's change the color from this black to kind of now of a gray color. And I'm going to come in, now let's make this really soft. That's maybe not so soft, so let's bring the hardness up a little bit. And the diameter down. And I want to just kind of build this up in layers. Maybe this down here, the collar is a little bit further away, so I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And maybe the eyes are a little bit dark, oh, and maybe not that dark. And the chin. And I'm just changing the kind of the, the color gradient. And let's bring the diameter down. Let's bring this up a lot brighter. And go down the bridge in the nose. And the lips. So it's looking kind of crazy, but that's totally okay. And then what I want to do is I'll, let's go back into my main composition. And I'm going to just take this. Let's go to Effect, Blur. And let's do a fast blur. And you can see how everything is kind of blurring together. And then I want to pre-compose this. 
So Command Shift C on my keyboard. Let's call this Depth Comp. Click OK. Now let's hide this, and I might come back to this later, just depending on how it ended up. So let's now go into this Abraham Lincoln, and I'm going to go to Effect, Distort, Displacement Map. And immediately you can see it's starting to do something that's not quite what we wanted to do. But up here, this Displacement Map layer, let's switch that to the Depth Comp. And now we can see we're starting to get a little bit of what we want it to do. It's not quite exactly how we want, but it's pretty darn close. I don't even know if there's much I would do to that. But what we can do is I can come in here, let's take this depth map, and now let's go to Effect, Color Correction, and let's go to Brightness, Contrast. So if we reduce the contrast, increase the brightness, it's going to change the way that the depth map works right here. So now it's a little bit a little bit softer. And that's pretty darn good. So what I want to do is I want to <clears throat> make this look like he's turning his head just a tiny bit. So I'm going to turn on the 3D movement. And let's tilt this and let's keyframe so I'm going to keyframe the Y rotation I'm going to keyframe the horizontal displacement and maybe the vertical as well we'll see what this looks like in the end and just kind of rotate And you know what, I like that, but I'm not 100% happy. So what I think I'm going to do is let's swap these keyframes for the horizontal. So I just took the first one, put it at the end, and the last one. So now it looks like he's kind of turning his head. And maybe I will have the Y rotation not as much, so let's maybe start at 5 and at negative 5. And I think that's, that's a little bit better of a movement. Now what I want to do is let's make him give a little bit of a smirk, a little bit of a smile. And what I'm going to do with that is use the Puppet Tool. And I do have to pre-compose this first. So I'm going to highlight both, pre-compose it, click OK because I want to move everything over. Now I'm going to change my composition settings here. Let's go 1280 by 720. Make sure everything is just fine the way it looks. Now to create that smile I'm going to use the Puppet Tool. And so I've pre-composed this. And when I use the Puppet Tool, if I were to just come in here and let's start to smile, you see everything's kind of rotating around, and I don't want that. So I need to pin this down. So I'm going to put pins in the four corners. And I'm also going to put pins surrounding the mouth. And then after I'm all done, I'm going to bring my playhead to the center, right in the middle, because the mouth is always moving. And let's put in three pins right on the mouth. Let's go to the end. Give him a little bit of a smile. Go to the beginning. Maybe he's got a little bit of a frown at the beginning. And as he rotates through, as he's moving, he's starting to build up a little bit of a smile. And you can see he's starting to smile a little bit. 
and maybe that movement's a little bit too fast. So I can come in here. I'm going to select this layer, hit U. It brings up my keyframes. So let's take those middle keyframes, maybe move them over a bit. And I think this is starting to look good. And let's do a quick render, show you what it looks like in real time. Okay, so that's how you add uh, some quick, a little bit of 3D movement, some kind of lifelike to a 2D image. And what I did, just a recap, is creating this depth map. And you, you can see it's not at all very precise, very exact. You just need a rough sketch of, yes, this is more forward, this is more back. And then the blur is going to make everything a little bit more smooth. And you can see it adds quite a bit of 3D movement to it. Now, if I want to go take this one step further, I would probably go in and cut out Abraham Lincoln from the background and replace the background with something completely different. Um, I think that would add a lot. I'd be able to have the background move in 3D space. Right now it's looking a little bit funny, um, but that's just one step you can do. And you would want to do that at the beginning before you did all the rest of the, of the movements and the animations. And then lastly, using the, the puppet tool, remember you got to put some anchor points in there or it's going to go a little bit crazy, but that's not hard to do and you don't have to worry about animating those because they're just there to hold things down while you animate the rest of it. So I hope you learned a lot from this. If you have any questions, go ahead and put, just put those down in the comments below. And um, I do check the blog, I check YouTube, I check Vimeo, and I like to answer these questions for you. And if you have a need of some great stock music, some stock sound effects, go check out premiumbeat.com. They've got a great selection. And be sure to look at their blog. They've got more tutorials just like this on their blog about After Effects, video production, all sorts of things. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a lot, and we'll see you next time.